And uh, Tim, you, you, we have a, um, this is really a victory, obviously, for, for all of us on this side of uh, the, the abortion argument, isn't mm-hmm. it? Um, this, what do you think this is going to mean from a, mur- well, you know, be, having a murder charge now? Is this going to change? Well, I think so. Of course, what we're talking about, Dan, you, you, you mentioned uh, most of our listeners have heard about it. And um, this is, a, we're breaking into financial news. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're here for just a moment <clears throat> because this is significant. It is. And it's a part of our mission as Christians to stand for human life the sanctity of human life, and so that's our biblical mandate. So we're going to stand for the rights of unborn babies uh, as long as we have breath here at AFA and AFR. And, and it is a financial issue, too. I mean, exactly. When, when you look at the moral depravity, obviously, yes. uh, impacting the markets and our economy and the 50, 60 million Babies yeah. that have been murdered and how yeah. that's impact our economy. Yeah. On a, on a, and how about God's scale. judgment on America God, if we really, continue to do I mean, this? And every economy fails first. Every empire has failed. Yeah. First because of the moral depravity, right. the moral fiber, then the economy, then their defense. It all is all, it's all, all is tied together. And you're, you know what? Really, only the Christian can understand that connectedness mm-hmm. uh, as we look at the whole thing biblically, yeah. uh, our condition yeah. of our of our country. Uh, but about this story in Philadelphia that uh, you mentioned, uh, Gosnell, what was his first name? Um, uh, Kermit. As in I, I say doctor in quotations. Okay. Yeah, he's an, yeah. uh, he's he's an, an abortion doctor. He's a, and he was, fa- he, uh, they, they, play, they had a, his, uh, quote clinic had only been investigated like three times in 20 years or mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was no oversight by the state of Pennsylvania, a health department on this man and what he was doing. He was in, he was inside this building with a house of horrors. Mm. And uh, I might just caution our listeners for just a moment. If they have small children in the car, uh, they, this is what we're talking about here is, is graphic. Yeah. But uh, this man was doing unspeakable things to the babies born and unborn Mm. and, and, and the women too, Mm -hmm. who were coming in there. He was, he was not a professional physician at, by any stretch of the imagination. Mm-hmm. He was unsanitary. He was uh, uh, killing what he was convicted of. He's killing babies mm-hmm. after they were born, mm-hmm. snipping their spinal cord. Mm-hmm. This is why I didn't want you to have the radio on when the small mm-hmm. children were listening. But the good news, as you mentioned, is that he was convicted by a jury yesterday uh, of three counts, of first-degree First murder. Degree murder. So there is justice that has been done now, finally, for these unborn babies mm. who have been killed, at least some of them. And I don't know what will happen to him, but it also peel back the ugly uh, reality of the abortion industry. Mm. Dan, I think this is what this uh, helped to do. A lot of the media, as you said, didn't want to cover it because uh, abortion rights are their sacred cow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but... Um, Anyway, this is this is good news. I don't know what will happen to this man, but uh, he deserves, uh, you know, to be prosecuted, as they say, to the fullest extent of the law. Forty thousand one hundred and thirty six abortions. He he. Are you committed. serious? That's what the number is. If you do the math. That one, one man, one man, forty thousand one hundred and sixty three. 136. So when they call it a thousand. mill, that's what it was. It was yeah. an abortion it mill. It was a mill. If you take a very low conservative price per abortion at 16 over $16 million that he has generated through this murder mill, this house of horrors, right. a, a, as you put it, and uh, it justice has been served uh, for, I mean, he'll serve an absolute minimum, I would assume, of life. And he's 72 or 70-something. Or yeah, you'd think he'd be in jail for the rest he of his will, life. Yeah, he he will be. And, and, it, and it, it made the abortion rights defenders have to go on the defensive because this is so grisly and so ugly. It, You know, I heard Sean Hannity ask one person on his who was pro-abortion or mm-hmm. the pro-choice, however you want to phrase it, Ask him, said, now, the baby was uh, alive 
and you you agree that it was morally wrong to kill the baby once it was born. He said, what about a week before in the mother's womb? And this woman said, I don't want to go there. I'm not going to talk about that Mm -hmm. Uh, because, well, for obvious reasons. Right, right. You know, you you start down that road, uh, then their argument falls apart. Mm -hmm. That is, people who are pro-choice. So I hope and pray, and I know you do, Dan, and our listeners do too, that we'll come to a day in our country again where unborn babies will be protected by the law mm. uh, like they were prior to Roe versus Wade yeah. in 1973. So maybe we'll get back to that point. I think medical science is on our side, uh, ultrasounds. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, all, all that is just so uh, important. It's so important. And, people, are, people are seeing these are unborn, these are babies. Uh, you know, if you didn't have to <clears throat> abort something, if if something wasn't alive and growing, you wouldn't have to abort it. Yeah, yeah, right, hmm? right. Am I right? Yeah, that's it's right. Just common oh, that's sense. A great, it is. It's just yeah. common sense. And I'm wondering how much more. I hope the pro life movement is going to press yes. charges against. Yes. I mean, I would hope that there are abortionists around yeah. the country yeah. thinking, "Am I going to face life that's in good. prison?" some yeah. point i hope that is the case if, if, if these states would do a better job uh, of, of regulating these places yeah. uh that alone well uh, you know you can regulate them out of business right right yeah right you know what i'm saying yeah, by, yeah. By, uh, because they're not practicing most of them are, are not practicing i would suspect uh sanitation and mm-hmm. and just the, the regular health needs uh that you would find, you would think you'd have at a medical, yeah. uh, quote, medical clinic. But anyway, this is good news, Dan. I well, appreciate you is, giving me an opportunity. You man, can go man. to AFA.net and read that press release. And, folks, uh, you, you, AFA.net, and when you're there, you can read the press release that gives the, some of the detail. But when you're there, it's so critical that you get the action alerts. I, I, right. I, I'll be surprised. I can't believe there could be some people that don't get them if you don't. You need to sign up for the AFA Action Alert. We're going to have the IRS audit anybody who isn't on the AFA there you Action go. Alert list. And I'm sure they'll do it for Dan. us. They'll the do IRS. it for us. So yeah. okay, I got, I'm going to call them today and tell them to start auditing people who uh, don't get the AFA Alert. Now, if you'll go to the AFA website, afa.net, it takes you about two minutes to sign up for the AFA Action Alerts. They're emails that come to your inbox twice a week, and they ask you to send an email or make a phone call on a particular moral issue that we're dealing with. It's a very simple way to make your voice heard, to be active and involved, mm-hmm. and you don't have to think too much because we right. provide all the information and the way to do it. So there's really no excuse, folks. Over two million people have signed up for this yeah. uh, to, to not get in, uh, get in, be informed, be an informed Christian. We don't want to be an ignorant Christian. Yes, we yes. want to be an informed Christian. And it's easy. Yeah, you click on something, put in your zip code. Your representatives you come go. up. It it's sends easy. the email for you. Don't have to do anything. That's why I love it so much. It's, but it your easy. representative hears from you. From your representative yeah, hears yeah, from yeah, you. The yeah, letter is yeah. already written, and they you know it's coming from it? their district. Yes. Yes. So great. anyway, great. thanks, Dan. Appreciate All right. the opportunity. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate you coming by, folks. We're going to go to break. Uh, as soon as we get back, we're going to go to the phones. We've got one line open: triple eight five eight nine eighty eight forty. We'll be right back after this AFR talk. <laughs> 